Hey, how we doing? I'm Andy. This is Spider Spiders. Now, I'm hoping that the mic's going to pick this up under here, but it's uh, blown a bit of a gale. I've come back to the same spot I was last week because, yeah, it's, you know, this building work seems like it's never going to fucking end, if I'm honest. But yeah, today we're going to have a look at my uh, Idiotheli Mira. Now, I paired this months and months and months ago with a mail that I'd borrowed from Ben from uh, Phasmid Fan. Uh, and we had a couple of successful pairings um, and with the male died not long after that which was a bit of a shame um, so I'd left them or I'd left this female as she was and then about if I'm honest you know she just dug a trap uh, dug a burrow built a trap door stayed away I hadn't uh, seen much of her and as I went to feed her I found some babies there was only a uh, sign I think I saw one or two uh, at the time so I was unsure as to what was going on but then about four days later when I went to check on things I spotted there was a discarded well what looked like the discarded egg sac in the enclosure so uh, that's where we're going to pick it up with this video um, yeah and I'll show you what went on um, I'll show you this discarded egg sac and what happened with it um, what happened when I pulled the, I decided to take the female out and retrieve the babies that were in there so I could get a count on them and that so I'll show you that in this video now and I'll just shut up and get on with it eh? I'll see you in a bit, ta -da. So yeah, as I said, this is about four days later this is what I'd spotted in the tank and when I got it out straight away I could see there was the remains of some slings inside it like so it didn't look promising if I'm honest um, as for the mother, you might be able to see just outside and above that trapdoor there was a little sling there and when I had a look under the trapdoor I could just make out one or two again so I knew there was definitely a few that were, were floating around that had obviously left the egg sack before she decided to sort of eat it or discard it or whatever's happened I've got to assume that it's just when I've went to feed her I've disturbed her too much and this is the result really so you can see we've basically got a little mass of slings that are all stuck together it's like she's eaten part of the egg sac but you can see there is movements once the focus comes in you see in the legs there's movement in the legs of some of them so I'm going to do my best to try and save the ones that I can um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my last method what I did with the Dolacotheli is I'm just going to leave them in the incubator pot and give it a couple of hours and then come back to them and see if the extra humidity is up to make it easier for separating them And as you'll see here, we did manage to get four from that little sort of mass. I think there was probably about four, maybe five more that were not, weren't able to retrieve really. So the next step was getting the ones that were hiding away with man. So the first one was already on the outside and you'll see just on the back of the cock back there so that one was quite easy to retrieve I do apologize for the view of me andy this one did go for a wander but eventually i did manage to get it into this little pot and you'll see just here it's past the eggs with like stage, it's like a first instar, or first stage spiderling. So that was quite good to see. Now next I decided to remove the trapdoor altogether from the top. Mum was still hunkered down inside it, so I thought if I remove the trapdoor I can go through that and just sift through it and make sure that there was no spiderlings hiding or caught in amongst all this. 
as it was, there were none, so it was now on to getting them out of her little tube, which, if I'm honest, proved a lot easier than I expected. So you see, it just sort of gently coaxed her out of the tube and she went straight up and into this little pot and we were able to secure her and put her out of the way and then focus on these slings. Now, I didn't know how to go about retrieving them so initially I was going to dig around this cock back and then remove it but I realised that was going to be quite laborious so I did decide to remove the back and as you'll see that was a bit of a mistake because not only did it cave in but the water bowl tipped and spilt all into the hole as well so that meant we spent the next 15 20 minutes just basically working my way around where I knew the tube was and sifting through and just pulling brush stroke by brush stroke pulling the soil forward really until as you'll see here I did manage to find one in amongst it all so that one was put away and then that led to me finding the second one pretty quickly as well But then we went back to sifting through and as I said I knew that the cock tube was right in the middle so I just sort of worked my way around until I found the bottom of what was the bottom of the, the tube and as you'll see here as I retrieve that you see we have a little group of slings didn't want to mess about with these so I just got them straight into a little pot but you see there was I think there was half a dozen in this little group here so yeah we just got them into a little pot and straight into the incubator pot and then once I was sort of satisfied I sifted through a bit more but I knew I'd reached the bottom of this uh, web tube so so I was sort of satisfied there was nothing there it was a case of refilling that tub in the mother was rehoused back in in pretty much exactly the same setup minus the spider wings like so talking of the spider wings here we are this is what we got so there isn't a great deal but they are all looking good regardless of what went on and um, the four that were retrieved from the egg sack if I'm honest I couldn't work out which was which at this point because they all looked pretty healthy uh, even those ones so it's just a case we'll see how things go now over the next few weeks hopefully they'll melt out to that next stage soon and uh, they'll soon be proper little spider things like so yeah that was the idea telling me the unexpected egg sack so yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if it was me disturbing her when I went to feed her the other day that has caused her to sort of chew up what remained of that egg sac. Now, luckily, as you've seen, we managed to get four of those slings we managed to save and they're all doing perfectly well. Um, they're in, and we got another nine in total out of the en enclosure, so I've got 13 there. It probably would have been maybe, I don't know, three or four more, I suppose, uh, judging from the state of the egg sac after I'd managed to separate those four but again it's all a learning curve you know I, I honestly didn't know that there was anything going on I didn't know she was holding an egg sack I've been feeding her or trying to feed her um, like I say or like I said in the video she's been uh, not wanting to feed so I just assumed that she might have been molten if I'm honest I'd, I'd rehoused her tried different things and obviously this egg sack must have been right at the bottom of her little tube like but yeah like I say, we did get a bit of success. We got 13 slings, slings there. So uh, we'll see how they all, all progress and hopefully it'll be all good like. But yeah, so that was the Idiotheli Mira, the blue foot baboon, the, uh, the unexpected egg sack. I'm gonna call this one, I think. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen and uh, I'll see you all next time. Cheers. <laughs>